JJ Jinx! Truck stop knives! This is called the Wahoo Killer. It was a knife that I got from Bud K for about $2 um, about three years ago, maybe longer, I don't remember. But I remember getting it because it was super inexpensive, and when I finally got it, I realized it was just a very, very cheap knockoff of a Mora Niv, um, probably the uh, Companion. But if you look on the blade, which is very roughly hewn, you can see the tool marks. You got a picture of a fish, and it says Wahoo Killer. Now, at the time, I didn't know what a Wahoo was. I didn't really make that connection with um, any kind of a, a fish, so... To me, it just kind of sounded funky, like, wahoo, killer! I came to appreciate the sheath because it's all one uh, molded plastic piece. It's got a hole in the bottom so that water drips out of it. Um, the clip is uh, flexible plastic. And the knife stays in because the rubberized handle just kind of holds it into place. And then you got this little ramp that you can put your thumb on to push off of to get it back out. Uh, that's about all there is to say about this knife, except one interesting thing to note is that there's a little spot here which looks like it should be for, like, I don't know, a label or something? Like, you, you could get a whole bunch of these made to give away at trade shows with your corporate logo on it. <laughs> I guess? What else could that be for? So over the years, I saw more and more and more of these appear on Bud K, but the blue was the first one I saw ever, and then as I saw the other ones, I started to collect them because they were still cheap as hell. And uh, one of the first ones I got is this one. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Cherry Mash, which is the exact same knife, except it's green. And the Wahoo Killer symbol is missing. Instead, it has a thumbprint, which is presumably mine. I began to collect more and more of these, which I will show off to you today. So this is going to be one of those uh, update videos of my Wahoo Killer collection. Kind of like how Tristan Barnett does his, this is going to be an update video things. Well, I will do that too then. Up next, I got this orange one. <clears throat> I don't know why... It, some point they decided to remove the wahoo killer symbol um but they did i guess it was to save money and then after the orange one i picked up this red one sort of a crimson red and um the blade is black on this one and it's got a uh, information stamped into it where it actually tells you the steel for a change this is 1065 carbon steel uh, I don't know if that's the steel type of the other ones. It just doesn't say anything. The other difference with this one is on the back, it's got the Bushmaster logo and uh, trademark name. So this one was a little bit more expensive, I guess, because they painted the blade black and put Bushmaster. And moving up the line, we come to my favorite one, and that is the one in yellow. And here's why it's my favorite. It was a dollar, or maybe two dollars, and um, it actually has writing on it. It says, Don, tread on me, liberty or death, proud American. <laughs> now, obviously, this is supposed to say don't tread on me, but Bud K got a misprinted batch and decided to sell them off really cheap. I saw that as kind of an opportunity to own something that sort of makes fun of the whole tea party, don't tread on me, uh hijacking of this very patriotic symbol, but I also like to think that maybe it was a practical joke on somebody named Don. But these sold out very fast, presumably because they just didn't have very many of them, and so now I'd like to think that someday this will be a collector's item. Now I got these a little while ago, which are um, not quite the same at first look. But you can see the similarities in the handle design, which was what led me to buy this two-pack of knives to begin with. This is basically what I saw in the picture, was them sitting there in the sheath, and I was like, oh, another Wahoo Killer and a variation on the scale color. Awesome. But then when I opened it up and had a look, I immediately realized this is not a Wahoo Killer. Well, 
it's 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 um just a very different blade <laughs> so what in the world am i looking at is that a hair strange looking beast it's like an owl pig it's a man bear pig so I guess I kind of keep these knives with the Wahoo Killers, only because, like, they have the same exact handle, pretty much. And moving up the line, I just have a couple more to show you. This is one that I picked up not too long ago, and it has the same exact sheath, even that little um, place for, like, a logo or something, but the thumb ramp is different. This is the Walmart version of the Wahoo Killer. Uh, different handle, very similar blade. The whole thing is rubberized instead of just this part, where that's just the hard plastic. But I got really excited when I saw this in the camping section of Walmart. I was like, it's the Walmart exclusive Wahoo Killer. How about that? And moving up the line, I would be remiss if I didn't compare it to the real deal. This is my Mora Companion. Uh, very, very cheap knife. Leaps and bounds better quality above the rest. Uh, Mora is a very popular company. People buy their knives all the time, and if they break or rust or whatever, um, just buy another one because this one's less than $20. And you can get various different models for a little bit more money, a little bit less money. They usually don't use the greatest steel because these are made to use in the ocean. And if you want steel that won't rust in salt water, you're going to spend a lot of money. Or you can spend a little bit of money and just replace the knife when it's dead. These are made in Sweden, as you can see from the very orange sheath, which I kind of like because if you're in the water uh, and for whatever reason this falls into the water, I don't know, maybe you can dive down and get it. And these are sharp as hell. I wonder if they copied this from the Mora Companion. Let's find out. It seems to be coming off okay. You know, there's a little circle thing. Oh, don't do that. I don't like that goo. No. Another difference is that in the belt clip, the Mora Companion's got one of these cutouts that lets you kind of hang it up on the wall. You just sort of hook it in, which I suppose you can do with these as well. They kind of widened out the slot here, so. And even though the Wahoo Killer is an obvious knockoff of the Mora Companion, I still have a soft spot in my heart for this thing. Mostly because they made so many of them. And there are some colors that I didn't get. They make one in all black that comes as a piece in a bigger set and it's like 40 something dollars. And I'm like, you know, I'm really not that dedicated to the Wahoo Killer. I think for the most part, I pretty much have them all. Now there's the um, correctly spelled, don't tread on me Wahoo Killer that I do not have because I don't care. I got a yellow one and it's cooler because of the misprint. And there, I believe, is a um, American flag themed one that has like fire engine red coloring in the plastic and I, I'm not a Jingo, so I don't care for that either. My collection is as complete as I want it to be.